Welcome students, welcome to another video. In this video we're delving into the discussion about how to find datasets for your thesis or other projects. Now, why is the pursuit of datasets necessary? Well, you might find yourself working on a personal project and lacking the required data. Whether you're seeking data about a particular country, a product, or virtually anything else, a dataset can be incredibly useful. It provides you with the ability to simply download and utilize the data you require. Moreover, datasets might also be essential for your professional duties. So, let's begin with some well-known sources that you may recognize, and then we'll move on to some more obscure options that you might not have come across before. The first on our list is the renowned Kaggle. This platform is fantastic. I've procured numerous datasets from Kaggle. It's an open source platform where anyone can contribute datasets. The beauty of it lies in the simplicity of downloading datasets directly from the site. For instance, if we navigate to a dataset like Headhunter Vacancies, you'll find a brief description, and by clicking on the dataset, you can easily download the relevant data. It's truly that straightforward. Furthermore, the search functionality allows you to easily locate specific datasets. Suppose I'm interested in sales data, I can simply type sales into the search bar and access a range of datasets related to sales. Some of these datasets might be a bit dated, spanning from 4 to 8 years ago, but they can still be highly valuable, especially for personal projects. Moving on, the next noteworthy resource for datasets is Google Dataset Search. Distinct from Kaggle, this platform scours the web to uncover datasets. Let's give it a try with a search for coronavirus COVID-19 since that's the prompt. This search yields various datasets available in different formats like CSV, ZIP. Some of these datasets are also sourced from Kaggle. Once you've located a dataset, you can explore its contents. It's worth noting that while some datasets might be free, others could come with a cost. The advantage of Google Dataset Search is its comprehensive coverage of datasets across the internet, beyond a single website. Another valuable site for sourcing datasets is 538. If you're unfamiliar, 538 is an analytical news website that heavily relies on data for its articles. The intriguing aspect here is that they provide open access to the datasets they utilize. For instance, if you're interested in NHL predictions, you can explore and download related datasets directly from their site. This diverse collection of free datasets spans a wide range of topics. Lastly, there's data.gov. Primarily designed for users in the US, this platform could have equivalents for other countries' local and federal governments. While it might lean towards US-specific data, it's an excellent resource. For example, if you're searching for healthcare datasets, the platform offers a range of formats such as CSV, APIs, PDFs, JSON, and XML. While the datasets here are largely government-related, they can be extremely valuable, especially for US-focused projects. In conclusion, these sources provide a wealth of datasets for various purposes. Whether you're a developer, researcher, or just someone curious about data, these platforms offer a treasure trove of information waiting to be explored and put to use. Also, students can always ask their university supervisor for help with finding datasets. And remember about the option to create a dataset yourself by making a survey. Have a look at our other videos to create your own survey. I believe that this video has provided valuable insights. If you have any questions or require further assistance, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more educational content. Good luck with your data. Greetings from your artificial professor.